What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I transform this room from this to this. Like most, my eldest son will be doing distance learning as well and I wanted to transform this room into a playroom slash learning center. I've always had dreams to having a playroom for my boys but just didn't have the motivation or the idea of how I wanted the room to be or a theme and then you know life happened and I just had to kind of figure it out and make the most out of the space that I have. I wanted to show you all how I had everything put in one area so I couldn't get much paint. I will push that stuff forward when I get to that wall. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit more room and then like I said, the boys were in here playing. So uh, yeah, that's me just bringing everything out of the floor. As y'all can see, the floor is clear for the most part. Brandon left his shoes in here, but yes everything is clear i did want to give you all a timeline on when i started i did start back in may and then i lost the motivation to finish and then i found out that my eldest son would be doing distant learning so that was my boost of motivation to finish up this room um, if you're new here, I am a mom of two, a working mom of two, and currently I am working from home. And this project was a lot of work. It was a lot of stop and go. I was really stressed out about it because, um, as y'all can see, it's a lot of prep work and just a lot of work in general that I did all by myself. Let me not say that I did have the help of both of my boys in some shape or form. You will see them in clips shortly, but overall it was a lot to do, but it was so worth it. Now I did not prime the wall because this in particular chalk paint had primer in it as well and the paint that is on my wall is a flat paint anyway so I just got to work. I didn't want all the plates from the outlets taken off. I wanted to do wall by wall because I do have a one year old and he will try to touch it. So um, later on that night, Brandon and I went to work and I had him try out taking off the plates and he did a really good job. We then went ahead and started painting the other few walls that I did not put chalk paint on. And honestly y'all, my hand was cramping the whole time I was painting. I painted this whole room in one day. This is probably why I lost my motivation because I was trying to tackle so much in one day and was just burnt out after painting. But um, yeah, I found this color at Sharon Williams. I will try to have it linked below, but I don't know if I have the color name, but I'll try y'all. The next day, Brandon and I put together the cube organizers. When I first purchased these, honestly, I did not have the idea that I had for them now, but I knew what I wanted to use it for, if that makes sense. So mainly I wanted to have some type of organization. I wanted the things that my boys had to have a home. I find that when 
things have a home we tend to not have a mess when we do not have a home for things things are just everywhere and I wanted to eliminate that issue Brandon has a lot of Legos and I really had in mind that I wanted to have the perfect station for him for his Legos. So I went out and I purchased these little blue containers from Dollar Tree and I sorted everything by color and I just felt as though that it just gave it more uniform and not look just thrown any type of way. After this is where I pretty much gave up I think I had did so much work within two days that I just couldn't do anymore so after this clip would be me fast forwarding into August where I complete this room for most items I will have them linked in the description bar where I purchased them also if you stay till the end of the video I will get further in detail on some things as well because in these clips you do not see everything that is being done so I do want you all to see the finished product so please stay tuned to the end y'all right, so as y'all can see the room is finally done i just have to add a few more things of uh, decor on the walls but overall everything is complete i did want to hop on and show you all some things that i picked up from amazon and just kind of get into detail on how everything is set up i did pick up these posters from amazon very affordable and i feel as though that it is touching on all of the curriculum that um, brandon will be working on this year and he can reference this during while he's doing work um i also added some words of affirmation right here this is his setup for his desk with his laptop this desk also came from amazon i will have it linked in the description bar as well this pencil sharpener because you know how it goes i don't know if he's going to be using it often i don't know if everything is going to be on the computer i am still um looking at the vlogs that the school uh is posting up <laughs> I do have some Play-Doh here that I just placed there. You know, it's a good stress reliever, honestly. So if you wanna take it out and just squeeze on it, he can. He has his little Ryan figure. Um, I plan on doing some math review with him and timing him. So I felt as though that this will be something good that I can time him with is two minutes worth of sand, I guess. I guess that's how I can explain it to you. I remember while, when I was in like first grade, they used to time me like one minute to do a certain amount of problems. So I thought that would be pretty cool to use. He will be learning a little bit more about money. So I purchased some fake little money from the family dollar and the container came from Dollar Tree. As y'all can see, the theme is sports. So I've added some stickers onto the containers. Oops, that's coming up a little bit. I need to add a little bit more tape, but for the most part, it's, it's there. 
So I've added those. Those also came from Dollar Tree. I have his color pencils and crayons. He did have some markers. He had like one, but I threw them out because they were pretty much dried out and then Carter got to them and took the lids off of them and those dried out. But yeah, um, I have some extra things like dry erase markers, scissors, white out, all that stuff. All of these are pencils. I have notebooks, Valora. <laughs> I have binders and extra things like um, construction paper and some other things like a folder that is full of uh, work that print out work for him. And here are all the workbooks I have for him. This. These two right here are Spanish workbooks. And then these out. I found these at Dollar Tree and I thought that this would be something good that he could learn and practice on when it comes down to the states. I know when I started my job that I'm currently at now, we had to fill out a whole map within 60 seconds. <laughs> And let me tell y'all, I had no idea where anything was I had to practice. So I want him to know how to fill this out as well in 60 seconds. I know it'll be something that he can do, not off rip, but within time. And they also have, um, you know, create your own map and everything like that. And it came with six, I believe, but I really think that this was a really good activity and I just picked it up. I have a lot of busy work. This is a workbook that's like from first to second grade and then second to third grade. Um, like I said, a lot of busy work. And I would like to pull some inspiration from out of those for him as far as his work is concerned. Like I said, I do not know how it's going to be just yet as far as his work. Coming over here is the reading center. Above, I have this sign that says, Believe, Dream, and sign Shine. I found this at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to fill this wall with all of their trophies, certificates, and all of that stuff. This is what the wall is going to be full, uh, full of. So, like, not trophies, but medals mostly and certificates. This will be a full wall of that, so I cannot wait to fill this up. I do have a few more that I do need to add, but didn't have the frames for it. Um, back to the reading center. I have Brandon's comic books right here, and a few other little books that like magazines and stuff for him. This is Brandon's section with all his books. These used to be mine when I was young. My mom keeps everything. But these are the Leapfrog Division game. And then he also has the Leapfrog Multiplication. So we will be working on this. I do have these as well. These are flashcards. This is for the program my baby can read but i think now it's called my baby can learn but um yeah these are just the flash cards that come with it and i also have some other flash cards these are mainly for carter and this section right here i have a carter little book <laughs> he loves this book along with some more leapfrog starred books i have the the vice somewhere i'm not sure i think it's in brandon's closet i have to bring it in here i have some puzzles right here for the boys some more books for carter i have the my baby can read books right here that goes with the cards i do not have the discs that go with them well, not all of them. They, when I was moving, some of them broke. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, these are all Carter's books. And I also have some more puzzles right here for the boys. Just some quiet activities that we can do over here in this section. If you saw my last grocery haul, you saw that I picked this up, but you can also purchase this on Amazon. I will have that linked in the description bar below. And then I have Carter's chair that was already here before I had in mind what I was going to do to this room. But just wanted this to be a cozy area for the boys. Also, here are Carter toys. More so like a digital learning center for him. And then I have the boys Hot Wheels set with the cars right here. And this mat is also um, Hot Wheel as well. And here is where I took the most time and separated Brandon's Legos into colors. And this was my second time doing it, honestly. <laughs> But um, I said to him, we need to keep it just like this. I purchased this table from Ikea. Really good deal. I will try to find it and have it linked in the description bar below. And I also found these on Amazon as well that I will have linked in the description bar below as well. To have, I wanted this right here so he can kind of build on this, which he has before, if y'all can tell, it's like a little bit of everything on here like paint and stuff but um i also one day i will be going back and i'm going to add a few more strips around here to fill this out but i was just really trying to do this for his birthday one day um not one day but last year and was trying to get it done really quickly and just didn't have all the measurements but he loved it on to this side these this is where mainly all the toys are for carter i have his blocks some games that the boys and i love to play y'all this game is really really fun i found this at a store called tuesday morning um i have some action figures both brandon and carter play with these i have carter's music stuff right here as well he loves music and i have some legos for carter right here and then i also have some costumes and stuff that the boys tend to dress up in and that is really it but here is the letter board i found this at big lots for 16 dollars. as i mentioned i am going to be adding a few more pieces of decor and the tv over here i may show you all my ideas on the decor i'm trying to keep it on a budget as well oh and i forgot to show you all this wall this wall is the chalk wall so this is where it's going to go down i do have a poem that i've been thinking about putting on the wall for the boys but I just don't write well with chalk, so I'm still kind of hesitant on if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to let the boys do their thing on this walk. But that is it, you all. I am finally done and the stress is literally off my shoulders. I have been in my home for going on five years in August and my mission this year was really to make my home my house feel more like a home um my goal was to have this room done by the end of the month and it is August 31st and it is done it is complete and I am so excited when you have a goal or you speak things into existence I truly believe that those things can happen you write it down plain and boom it's right there it's happening but um yeah everything that i purchase i will try to put it in the description bar below as you all know i am frugal i i let me just say i'm cheap but same thing but y'all know i'm cheap and everything is affordable that i picked up so just check it out and I hope that this video provided somewhat of motivation on how to put together your kids playroom slash learning center or even just 
a learning center. I mean, if you have multiple rooms where you can just do them separately, boom, go ahead, do it, girl. But yeah, this was how I set up the room. This is what I pretty much had in mind that it would look like. And I am so happy to have this for my boys. I put so much love, thought, and energy into it. And I can't wait to continue to make my house feel more like home. So you all stay tuned because there are so many more things that I am looking to do into my home because I really, really, really want to feel like I'm at home. This is my safe haven and y'all already know what's going on. So we might as well just get comfortable. But I'm done chatting. This video is probably gonna be long, but I had to show you all the before and the after. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also share this video because this can help someone. And as always, be blessed and nothing less. And I'll be back with another video. Bye.